when you own a drone, crashing it is not about possibility. Crashing is about when it's going to happen. start and my voice had played me in for this intro of the first day in this beautiful town let's go breakfast not my favorite meal of the day to be honest but certainly one of the most expensive ones so the hotel has a buffet for $13 or so but you know us we try to keep it low budget and come to our beautiful 7-eleven to pick up some uh, little snacks here and there because we like focusing more on lunch and dinner an epic great thing of late sunrises is this you get hit with this twice so once in the morning and once at 3 p.m about this area is you have three museums in the same kind of plaza um, you have behind me that Contiki you have the Fram and right over here you have uh, the Marines Museum uh, we're gonna go and check all of them out before it gets too late behind me is the Contiki a very important historical boat this guy in 1947 made a journey from Peru all the way to Polynesia uh, the technology and the materials that they used were only technology and materials they would have used back in the day that's the Peruvian flag there were a few expeditions that um, left uh, different parts of the country trying to find similarities between cultures. One was Ra, uh, then you have Tigris, which was stopped by uh, militaries, and that prompted the expeditioners to just set the bottom fire and say, screw this. Then and then you have Ra too, which sailed from Morocco all the way to Barbados. And this was another successful expedition, proving that there were ways to connect both cultures, even if they were so far from each other. Are right now it's inside of one of those boats sent to expeditions uh, to the North and South Pole. This one dated 1901 if I'm not wrong. These boats were not easy to access either in or out and they were really 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 small and uh, a dude like me will not be able to go to North Pole. We are now in the Fram, one of the largest expedition boats from those days. Uh, this guy got stuck in the ice for an expedition and its goal was to determine if they were able to do the pass to the North Pole all the way to the other side. Uh, a lot of people try this, a lot of people died trying it, but it's crazy to see how people will risk their life in order to follow their dreams of discovery, right? I mean, is the one that took my drone, uh, but it was a pilot error. It was, it was totally pilot error. What happened in the mode that I do called Droney, a lot of the sensors shut down and obstacle avoidance is so miscalculation but that's why you always get a warranty an extended warranty and uh i get two free replacement for a year my year anniversary is actually on february so norway of course viking history they need lots of boats and they're very good at navigating the ocean this is the museum dedicated to that. So what does it mean that I crashed the drone? It means a few things. One, obviously no more flying in Europe, which is kind of sad. Second, as soon as I get to LA, if I kind of do it from here, I'm going to ship my drone back to DJI for a replacement. Uh, three, 
I'm gonna be much more careful whenever I see a tree and I think I clear it. I most likely will never do what I did today again. Four. Never listen to me? Yes, I'm gonna never listen to mommy when she asks me to do a shot. Because every time I try to do a shot and I listen to her, I end up either crashing or I end up missing my camera. So cut off. <laughs> I love you, but cut off. Before we finish today's vlog, I want to show you. This should be attached to the drone. This is the camera and it goes like this. And here's my boy. Ah, uh, he's beat up. The battery uh, cracked right over here. Uh, one and two propellers broken. Uh, this propeller's cracked, broken, the leftover propellers. And here in that hole is where this guy is supposed to go. So, uh, yeah, the poor Mavic is uh, going to Mavic Heaven and I'll be getting a new one from DJI. Uh, it sucks. Honestly, it does, but uh, not because the drone crashed, because we're going to Copenhagen and I would have loved to film some stuff over there. But uh, good news is at least it didn't fall in the water. So I'm pretty sure they're not going to be able just to fix it, so they will send me either a refurbish. I'm going to request for a brand new one. Anyways, that's it for today. My phone at least got fixed. We had an awesome evening and an awesome day as well. I will see you tomorrow when we'll be doing some extra museums but around this area. For watching this, I thank you. For being with me, I thank you. And for being awesome, I applaud you. Take care.